an artificial heart that acts almost like a real one should be available to patients in a few years' time. Developed by France's leading cardiac surgeon and engineers from European aerospace company EADS, the prosthetic device is wrapped in a synthetic skin to keep the body from rejecting it. But what makes it really special is its ability to measure the activity levels of the body and change its pace accordingly. Professor Carpentier says the device is just about to go into production. You know, in the life of a researcher, there are two difficult moments. The first one is to conceive and to carry out the project, the prototype, and to demonstrate there is potential in its function in order to serve the human being. This stage finishes today. And the new stage is the handover to another team, a team which will build it in an industrial way and will have the responsibility to build a product which will be able to be implanted into the human body. The heartbeat has two stages, the diastole when the ventricles are filled with blood and the systole when the blood is pumped into the aorta. The artificial heart uses two pumps to mimic a real heart's two ventricles. Electronic sensors react to physical activity, increasing or decreasing the heart rate. They've been adapted from the electronic sensors EADS uses in guided missiles. Developing and producing an artificial heart is the holy grail of modern medicine, eventually eliminating the need for heart transplants. Two artificial hearts have already been developed in the US, the Javik 7 and the Abio Core, both of which have extended the lives of patients waiting for a transplant. However, they've not replaced the need for transplant, as this, it's hoped, may one day do so. Around 100,000 patients in the Western world alone need a new heart. Yet only a tiny fraction, around 5,000 a year, of these receive one. Marcello Conviti, head of the company which is to assemble the hearts, hopes that this device could one day be the answer. We hope to save all these 95,000. Uh, theoretically speaking, we could not say that. This depends on indications, it depends on our capability to train properly the clinical teams, is, uh, is uh, the performance of the machine per se. But theoretically speaking, this is our target. Of course, we are here to try to save all of them. Independent experts say Carpentier's artificial heart is a significant improvement on what's currently available. Other artificial heart projects are also underway in the US, Japan and South Korea. Although there are still problems to be ironed out, such as the electric power supply, the French heart is expected to be tested on humans by 2011.